delivering him there. Okay? I'm not I'm not shooting, taking my shot here, here, and going there. I'm going through him. And the reason I go through him okay, is to prepare for a little bit of hip pressure. So the more he sprawls, really it's easier for me to hit the fireman's carry. So when I hit a real clean one and I, he doesn't get any of his legs back, that's when it, sometimes I sometimes I miss it, or sometimes you miss it, you have to change off to your double. Okay, because he didn't react. Okay? So we're going through him on this fireman's carry. It's a shot that we're not going to telecast it, but we're going to shoot into it. So I like to move the head. I'm a right leg lead. I'm going to penetrate with my right leg. I like to move the head down, and then I like to jump right into it. So as his head comes up, I'm going over the top. Okay, I'm not controlling anything. I'm going over the top, right here. And as I control, I'm pinching in, taking the big step, swinging that around. And as I swing it around, this knee's going down, this one's going up. And as I do that, okay, I'm just swinging him up on my shoulders. Okay, right here. Boom. So, when I started wrestling, I had a really young, really good little league coach. And he always, he always told us, if you're ever going to be a great wrestler, okay, your feet should never leave the mat. Right? It's true. Right? My, your feet should never leave the mat. So you're always adjusting for that. You know, a guy hits me in a double leg, my feet leave the mat, what's going to happen? He's going to score, right? He lifts my feet off. Right? If I get hit in the fireman's carry, my feet leave the mat, he's going to score. I'm going to score. Okay? Because I'm, I'm taking his feet off the mat. So, you know, that's what we want to do with opponents when we're taking them to their back. Take their feet off the mat and you got a chance to put them to their back. Okay? But as an athlete, my feet, I never want them to leave the mat. That doesn't mean I'm not going to get taken down, but I don't want them to leave it. I don't want to get hit in the headlock and my feet end up over the top. Okay? I don't want to get hit in the fireman's carry and my feet are off the mat. I don't want to get hit in the louder drop my feet leave the mat. So all pinning positions, my feet, from your feet to your back, your feet leave the mat. That's what we want to do to opponents. We, as wrestlers, we want to make that commitment that my feet will never leave the mat. Okay? So, I'm shooting through, penetrate, shooting through, big step, rotate, okay? Pulling these elbows in so like that. Everything's here. Look how high I am. Okay? I stay high with my head. After I make the turn. And I'm delivering him right there. Punching him off and finishing. Okay? Now, the one thing I've noticed with young people is they don't know how to finish off pins. Okay? Because we don't work reverse halves anymore. We don't work halves. You know, if a guy turns away from me, okay, it's a reverse half. Okay? And I'm sucking, hand goes to the armpit, and I'm coming underneath the elbow, okay, and, and trying to pin him. If he hits a bridge into me, okay, I rotate, half, elbow deep, okay? Work your pins. If we're gonna work feet to back, work your pins. Finish the move up. I don't like him going dead after he goes to his back. How many of you guys go dead? All of us, right? I need him to squirm a little bit so I can feel those adjustments I need to make. You know? Especially if I'm hitting the fireman's, it's a little bit loose. Okay? Come here. Yeah, come on. So when you hit this, you go to your back of the act. Okay? Yeah, good. Again, you don't know where you're going to end up. You need to make adjustments. But you don't want to lose it. Wrestle, 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 wrestle. Headlock, set through, good. We need to practice that. Not just when we go live, okay? We get more practice with it when we drill. Okay? So we need that reaction. So again, when I'm hitting this thing right here, when I'm focused, I'm here. 
head, pull the head down on the right leg lead, pull the head down. As I let it pop up, I'm penetrating. I'm going and I'm literally giving the guy an underhook. I want to, I'm forcing him into an underhook. His hand's right here, okay? I'm really forcing it in there. A catch. Boom. Big step, back out. Okay? Boom. Everything comes out. Big step, rotate, and sling him up. Boom. When I say deliver, I'm taking my hand right over the top of my head and delivering my hand right to the mat. Boom! Boom! Pin. Okay. So here. Boom! Okay. He sits all the way through with a headlock. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'd rather sit here and fight here. Just different feel. If you grew up with a little correct line, spend some time on practicing headlocks, then that's the position you want to be in. Okay? Come on out. Okay, but look. My farmer's carry is going here. The reason I like this one is because when our opponent sprawls on this, it gets easier. So when he sprawls, it gets easier. So I'm crawling, I'm running on my knees with this. So when I hit here, when I hit, I'm running. Don't stop. Boom. Boom. Leg comes up, rotate. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, what happened there? Okay, right here. When I go, it's this arm. I keep it down. I keep this arm in front of me. He's going to his back. I let it get back here. This one gets back. Ah. Okay, so just, hey, when you go, it's like, boom! I suck that baby in. No, no, do it from the outside. Do it from the outside. They don't see it coming. Pop, pop. There you go. There you go. Fight! Fight off your back! Fight! Good, great. I like it. You ever been there? You win state? Yes, sir. You win national? I got the difference. Good. Oh, you guys are fighting school? Yes, sir. Oh, what was prep this year? Switch, switch. 